The following is a presentation of a new feature of the configurable version of GraphPad. And what it is is the introduction of a map view, which actually shows a user's um, appointments. So by opening the map view, you can select between all appointments if you have multi-day travel, today's appointments, and tomorrow's appointments so you can plan for it the next day. And if you open a particular appointment, You'll actually see the date and time of the appointment, as well as the customer information. Once you've opened the appointment, if you open a corresponding form, that form will be pre-populated with the customer data. Now this feature can be used in one of two modes. It can be used as a standalone app, in which case the user can input his own appointments, or it can be integrated with a backend system, in which case the application will actually call out to a web service and download the appropriate appointments. Once the appointments have been downloaded, they still remain as part of the system. Uh, they are stored in core data. And so if for some reason you're disconnected from the net, so first I'll, I'll go ahead and show a case where we're actually integrated. So we would just go in, turn the integration on. You would have to work with your IT department in order to uh, make sure that the web service is set up correctly. Um, if you open the web appointment, at this point it makes a, a web call and actually downloads the um, appropriate um, appointments. It still stores those appointments in core data. So if, for example, you were disconnected from the web or you're in airplane mode, and we'll simulate that, you would still have those appointments in the system. However, because the directions is a web service call on by itself, you would no longer have the directions plotted. You would still be able to open an appointment, however, get the customer information which has been stored in core data, and then when you open a form, it would then pre-populate pre that form with that customer information. This new feature is currently under development and should be released in the next release cycle, which will probably be within another week. And I hope everybody enjoys this new feature. Thank you very much.